Why parasocialism is worse for VTubers? Parasocialism. It's a one-sided relationship where a person knows so much about a particular content creator, influencer, mm -hmm. fictional character, and in this case VTuber, and forms a certain kind of attachment towards them, while those figures knows nothing about that person. Those kinds of attachment depends on the viewer and content creator. Oh wow, creator, I bet she looks like that familial, in real life. Friendly or romantic in yep. nature. It is subtle, insidious creeping up on people and developing without them not even knowing. One day they could enjoy a particular streamer, mm -hmm. influencer, or VTuber. And next thing you know, you're dating her. But she doesn't know that though. She lied to her fans that she is single and is only dedicated to her fans. Sorry, but I will not white knight liars. Please take a shower immediately. Literally no argument. You probably don't even know what Gachi Koi is and what kind of fan base uh, Russia was cultivating. B broke my defense. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh he... Oh what the fuck? He broke the phone case of that girl. Oh my god. He shaved her head. He said, no. And the next they'll find their heart suddenly broken upon hearing those influencers might be yeah. in a relationship. Well, in most instances, Oh, people... this is the same with, with, uh, by the way, like, I don't want y'all to be like, oh, well, this is just like fucking weird guys with girls. Bro, people did this shit with Ice Poseidon. Never forget Horseshoe Bay. Yeah, no, I mean, this happens with guys, too. Now, it's much more, like, it's like a 95% girl thing, but, like, it does happen with guys. Just unsubscribe or unfollow, or even the usual petty whining in some random... But what they don't know is that it always happens with guys is because every VTuber is actually a guy with a voice changer. Everybody knows that here, though. Image board or Twitter thread, some instances can be so deranged True, and horrific. Like committing suicide after their favorite characters die or I feel like a lot of people like that that uh that, that do shit like that it's not really because like these are people with a mental disorder it's not like Naruto made him kill himself you know like this is a person who had some screws loose going into it fucking harassing and scaring their favorite content oh, yeah. creators their entire oh, yeah. life. In recent years, parasocialism has been vilified by literally everyone. Some critiques and problems exaggerated, but often they parrot the same opinion. Parasocialism, bad. And in one way, I agree. I don't think parasocialism is like, oh, bro, I thought that was a swastika for a second, god damn. Um, it, I don't think it's always bad, it's just bad whenever it manifests itself in an unhealthy way. The deepest ends of parasocialism are cause for one of the internet's most fucked up stories. But I don't think parasocialism is necessarily bad. See, parasocialism is more nuanced than that. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. everyone simplifies it to just a person developing... People think every... Like, paras, whenever you think parasocial, you think of the guy that shows up at a streamer's house with a wedding ring because they're about to get married. But, like, there's actually plenty of people... That are just like, you know, they feel like the streamer is their friend and, you know, like it's kind of a little weird, but it's not a big deal. In some kind of obsessive that's or yeah, yeah, that's attachment like, towards someone or something. That's very high there level. There are actually layers and depths to consider. Yeah. A weeb seeing the boys on Trash Taste and listening to their podcast oh, every day because cute. they're just like me for real. Oh a man God. inspired after his favorite influencer that once suffered oh. the same problem that he had overcome it wow. a man deciding to learn a language just because their favorite VTubers get out of the way to speak it parasocialism isn't the venta black concept that many people paint it as it can be healthy in fact i would argue most cases of parasocialism is actually healthy we all have parasocial relationships in some shape or form by its technical definition being a fan of someone is a parasocial relationship i and think this is a like this is true but you have to also use like the like this is a, a very a parasocial relationship is like meme okay a meme can be anything right if you go back to the richard dawkins definition of meme a meme is anything but whenever you say meme Everybody thinks of a vice dog or some sort of like a internet, like Nyan cat or something like that. So I understand what he's saying, but I think that there is a general 
whenever somebody says parasocial on the internet, I think it paints the same picture for 95% of people, even if that definition is incomplete. Most of the time, that actually helps us grow, like learning a language, mastering an instrument, becoming a good dancer, or even just a temporary escape from the harsh yeah. world so that we can come back refreshed and ready to face it again. The Sometimes, obsessions what comes we with, just yeah. need our role model and Oshis to give us encouraging words. Oh, good. Sometimes, we just need a temporary escape. But when people start depending on them and reach the deep end, that's when the parasocialism problem oh, yeah. actually becomes a problem. When requests for words of encouragement become pushy for words of validation. When instead of being inspired by your favorite content creators to fix your issues, one ignores it and retreats to them for comfort. That's right. When one escapes reality. I love the music change. The music change is so good here. And leaves for good. Many people have talked about the dangers of parasocialism, especially that of a romantic. Talk about this one, share our thoughts, for a live stream, maybe feel uncomfortable. Great. Voss talking about maybe doing ASMR, collab stream. People told them not to because it's Kindred's private time with. Yeah, see, like the thing is, if you let weirdos like this dictate what you do, then all you're going to have is a bunch of weirdos. You got to you, you you can't let them do this because if you do then they're just going to they're just going to run like the moment that you let them do one thing they immediately want something else. This also includes trauma dumping. Oh yeah, yeah, by the way, uh you know, uh fucking high soda <laughs> Dog died, mom died, dad died, sister died, brother died, house burned down, cat died, goldfish drowned, uh, failed school, car broke down, got cancer, have a headache, lost my leg, lost my arm, typing to you with my tongue, but hope you're having a good day. Here's five dollars. I love the stream. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, it, it's it's a bit much, right? And it's always hard to know what to do whenever somebody donates something like that. Like I just usually, uh, well, I don't get donations, so I don't need to worry about it. Antic nature. I'm not going to be one of them, though. I did offer my opinion, and that's going to be crucial for my overall message. In <laughs> be like. <laughs> Damn, Brad sucks. Hearts in the chat for that guy. Okay, so who wants to come do this uh, this raid? <laughs> yeah. Damn, Brad sucks. <laughs> Can we get some hearts in the chat for that guy? <laughs> you don't even know his name. Oh my god, that shit is so fucking funny to me. It's my worst day tomorrow. So please validate me. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is, brother. Yeah, just tell him I failed Memoron 40 times, yeah. But I don't care about your dog. I'm wiping an old war again, and it's been out for a month. I don't give a fuck about your dog. I'm I'm dying out here spending all my time in this fucking raid. This video. No, I'm here to answer another question that nobody seems to have answered yet. Is the parasocialism problem for VTubers Let's hear why. But how do you even measure that? What is a base form of parasocialism? You know why I think number one, one of the reasons is, is like some of the VTubers, they're so nice. Like Iron Mouse, Silver Veil, like, oh, they're so nice. Oh, they're, they're so nice and, and, and cute and, oh, it's like, oh, so nice and good and comforting and warm. And then, you know, th th they're not assholes. They're not just dicks. So it's harder to, to it's easier to be parasocial like that. Like no, people are not going to be as parasocial with me. They're like, bro, why, I don't want to fuck. Like, bro, I don't want to be near him. He smells bad. Like he fuck like you hear about that shit he did with that dead rat, bro. I don't want to be around him at all. Like he's nasty. He's funny, but like I'm glad I can watch him through the monitor. You, you know, like, so I, I get less of those people. Everybody gets a bit of it, but like, I, I get way less of that. By worse, I don't actually mean the level of intensity because parasocial fans going absolutely batshit crazy over their favorite influencers oh, yeah. is not exclusive to VTubers. No, in fact, not. I actually think in terms of degree, the VTuber industry isn't that problematic. At least compared to K-pop and dream stands, they're way fucking worse. By That's worse, true. I mean how heavily the culture of VTubing not just revolves around true. it, but also needs it. 
even more so than normal streaming communities. And, and like, that's In a fact, good point. But just, give, give me one second. Sorry, I pause this real quick. People watch anime, they're like, these girls are so cute and nice. I wish I could have somebody like that in my life. Then they find anime girls that are like that, so they'd be so attached. Well, it, it's also like you think about the kind of person that's going out of his way to fucking think that he's going to be dating a, a fucking uh, a GIF. A PNG. But I, I mean, but soda, yeah, but like, but like that, that actually like, it, it seems like that's kind of happening. But the difference is that like he actually talks to her. There are people that think, I guarantee you, However far along Soda thinks that he's in with his relationship with Vebe, there are people who think that they are farther along in their relationship with Vebe that have never talked to her. Am I wrong? So it's like if you're going around and getting attracted to something that's not even fucking real... I mean, this is like a, you know, you have to be, it's like, you have to be like, you have to be this tall to enter, bro. You have to be this crazy to enter. So everybody in the building's going to be a bit nuts. She banks on it, indirectly encourages it. However, this isn't exactly new. Mm -hmm. Tons of companies and industries like the K-pop industry, the American boy band culture, and the Japanese idol culture fosters and encourages oh, yeah. parasocialism oh, in all do. manners of depth. Because it's the thing that draws in the money. It also doesn't help that the VTuber boom started in 2020. Literally the time where many... Under COVID, yeah, for sure. And also, like, it's a lot of young kids. Like, the people that get involved with, like, you know, the Jonas Brothers or something like that here... Bro, the average age of a girl that's getting into that shit is like 11 or 12. Bro, they stupid. What do you expect? They're stupid. People were isolated, lonely, and in a bad spot in their life due to pandemic lockdowns. While well, the healthy part of parasocialism got these people to forget about their loneliness momentarily yeah. and eventually get back to their feet, the dangerous part is that now some people vicariously live off of these anime girls oh, yeah. but while parasocialism exists There's everywhere the in the media streaming communities in general are more prone to developing it since viewers and fans actually have a line of direct communication with that person yeah viewers share their vulnerabilities with the streamer they banter they have inside jokes and it makes it so that the viewer feels like they know the streamer for real mm -hmm. like they're close friends with them when in reality they aren't and eventually they go to their streams every time just so they can talk to them to oh, see yeah. what they're up to. Oh, Eventually, yeah. they develop a parasocial bond. Oh, yeah. Whether that's on the healthy side or on the deep end ultimately depends on the individual viewer. However, parasocialism can actually also go the other way around. In fact, I'd argue parasocialism first starts on the streamer or VTuber's end. Really? Oh, bro, that's like, a, oh, you guys watch me for me? And then you're like, oh, you watch me play any video game? This is a WoW streamer. And you're like, okay, I'm going to play Fortnite. And they go from 600 viewers to 40 viewers. Yeah, a, a lot of people have... Uh, <laughs> they, they get parasocial with their, their own audience. Stability is a tricky thing to manage as a VTuber. In one hand, they absolutely need it so that people can connect with them and understand them better, oh, yeah. which is part of a healthy parasocial relationship, of course, but afterwards, it's their responsibility to put up proper boundaries. Still, yeah. no matter what you do, even if you put up that boundary, there will always be fans that will fall to the deep end of parasocialism. Nah, it, the, the way you handle that is really simple. So, like, the what you do is if somebody takes it over the line, you ban them in chat. That's what you do. Yeah, that's the whole thing. That's that's it. That's all you need to do. Done. Gachis exist for everyone, not just well, for you a lot of money. Putting up boundaries serve to lessen the impact of those gachis. But I can't entirely blame the gachis though, because it's actually the influencers that, that start seeing Slayer. their chat as their friends first. Because the chat is always there cheering for them and occasionally tossing them money oh, I played who that am game. I to deserve your time and money I need to repay you would become their mentality and this bond would deepen for better or worse usually worse when eventually the VTuber shares their vulnerabilities past traumas and too much of themselves to their audience oh, yeah. it's an indirect invite for other people to start pouring their hearts too and thus starts a cycle where they essentially feed on each other some people yeah I, I Sam what comes up form of abusive behavior how alive or not therapist what the fuck 
with council stating their super chat readings please seek actual help yeah people type this shit to me too i usually tell them not to kill themselves because i want them to keep watching i mean that's really that's about it i mean like is why would you i mean bro like what do you want me to say don't kill like you're gonna die anyway like what do you like bro like why do you just, just calm down like I, I i mean really like yeah just stop yeah that sucks man bro hey hearts in the chat for that guy hey yo yo let's get some bro that sucks man hey hey yo anyway uh so look like we need two more people for old war like, we need to get a priest for Nakramas 25, man. We got to do Resuvius. People trauma dumps during a random moment yeah. in the stream and sees their VTuber as a waifu therapist. Oh, yeah. And some people dedicate entire months of their lives making videos worshipping a single VTuber. Holy fuck. VTuber that pushed VTuber worldwide. Full story. Oh, my God. I should watch this shit. I love freaky shit like this. It's like going to a zoo. Okay, maybe two. It's especially worse for VTubers who are troubled because the chat starts developing some kind of savior complex. That's yeah. the reason why a lot of VTuber fans love unstable girls and menheras. Because they're just like me for real and to them, they're way cuter than a normal professional VTuber. Well, it's also the reason why it is like obviously it's just some cute little girl and so it doesn't make them feel insecure, right? Because if you've got some, you know, six foot two, blonde, big titty girl that used to play volleyball in college, some little fucking scrawny kid isn't going to be able to pretend like she's their waifu. You see what I'm saying? So, like, this is what they want. I wish. Yes, yeah, same, bro. Like, let me know. All right, please, please let me know. But it's just that's the other reason and also because like they feel like oh they can fix her finally i have somebody who i can solve their problems that's it yeah these kids need a dad yeah as such this is a part of the job for most vtubers oh yeah even if one is literally the funniest vtuber ever they often need to skirt the edges of parasocialism even more so than regular streamers oh, to find the middle between the shallow and oh shit bro like this is i watch his stream this is i'm subscribed to his stream this is he responds to my chat messages this is um fucking i'm like writing paragraphs to him on like a discord account he doesn't know it's me <laughs> shit <laughs> oh my god the deep end they can't stay completely unparasocial with their audience for long because yeah. parasocialism is the lifeblood of this industry it's what fans expect and want from vtubers most vtubers fortunately manage to find these sweet spots uh -huh. and those that go over the edge end up in unpredictable places oh, as yeah. examples Rusha got gutted and was humiliatingly exiled from hololive and vox is seeking professional mental help after the whole Raymo drama. And well, I mean, to be fair, y'all got to keep in mind, there's plenty of real streamers that fucking <laughs> that go, go over the cuckoo's nest, too. You know, they, they go right over. They, they do whatever they need to do. They go all kinds of crazy. So it's not like VTubers have a monopoly on being nuts. We do this shit, too. Like, I've been stressed out before. Like, streaming stressed me out more than almost anything else maybe developing into a menhera himself it used to yes least. they're still active and popular but they've earned themselves quite controversial reputations yeah. yes they're still making bank and they still want to pursue the gfe and bfe experience Ooh. but at what cost of course i'm not saying that rusha or vox deserved the mental damage that was inflicted upon them due to parasocial fans and criticism but what i am saying is that it's par for the course it, it is you you gonna go down it's like you lay in with fucking hogs you start laying around rolling around in a hog a hog slop you're gonna get dirty and it doesn't matter you think man they should have cleaned that shit up but they're hogs they're not gonna do it it's like you you yeah you lay with hogs smell like hogs 
<laughs> it's just that simple. Mess with the bow, you get the horns. True, brother. And, and that's just how it is. Like it, it, and it's not. That's not how it should be. It should not be like this. But it is. Things like these were naturally going to happen. There's even a chance that it'll continue to worsen as they keep descending into the abyss. And again, everything that I've said so far aren't exclusive to VTubers. They happen to regular streamers too. Oh yeah. However, the reason why I think it's a tad more problematic for VTubers is because VTubers are easier to objectify. VTubers appear as anime characters. They play into a kayfabe or character archetype. Oh, yeah. And due to this, it's really easy to forget that they're still... Well, and it's not it's not just that, but it's the people that are going to, like, on average, the kind of nutball that's going to go parasocial if you have somebody who thinks that they're in a relationship with a cartoon... Like, you're already batting way above average. Like, that that's... Uh, uh, yeah, so did it. That's what they tell themselves, right? But, like, that's really what it is. Human. That they're just entertainers. That they're just doing their job. Yeah. There's already a growing global culture of men replacing real relationships with... This is going to be way more popular soon. It's going to be crazy. I can't wait for it. Oh, my God. It's going to be lit. The waifus. And pair this up with the idol culture, which I'll talk about yeah. later, and you get a special kind of problem. But things get even more complicated when you remember that it's part of the magic of VTubers. Them role-playing is part of the appeal of the gimmick of VTubing. VTubers are basically interactive shows when the you think about this? it. Them acting like caricatures, playing into tropes, being a neat because they're just like me for real, playing into the shipping culture, these yeah, are guys, whenever I pretend like I'm a neat and I pretend like I'm dirty and messy, like, that's all just to get you guys to think that I'm like you. Like, I'm not really like that, okay? Like, this is a set. I live in a mansion. All parts of a VTuber's yeah. appeal. Yeah. And the natures of these appeal makes parasocial relationships all the more easier to form. It's much harder for VTubers to manage their fans because they have to keep that magic alive while making sure most of their fan base doesn't fall too deep into parasocialism. And if their fan base is that really true like with vtubing because like, i watch a few vtubers but like um the kind of vtubers i usually watch i watch with the sound off so like uh what what is it a few like yeah so like yeah does that happen with like people that get really weird uh with vtubers y'all think that's true Never watched a VTuber? Okay. They've fallen into the deep end, whether intentionally or accidentally, they start walking on eggshells. Most of the time, VTubers fail in managing that balance because parasocialism is already a key component of the VTuber culture. Yep. And sometimes it even dictates the success of a VTuber. Of course, while parasocialism is already a necessary component for a regular streamer or influencer, it is. in the case of VTubers, parasocialism isn't just necessary, it's glorified. Enter the simping culture. How's that? Originally, the word simp was an insult to men who like... This is the way we solve this, is we stop letting women stream. Who's with me? We just, we shut this down right at the core. That's right. That's right. W, yep, W asthma, base tape, yep, uh-huh. All right, all right, we got it. Problem solved email content creators a little too take them much. off the internet entirely the yep. they'd spend a shit ton of money in hopes of getting off some computer. action in return but during the vtuber boom fans have not only adapted that word they turned it into a badge of honor yeah the most loyal simps and the craziest most active whales are respected and glorified someone who cashes out literally tens of thousands of dollars to super chat their oshis in a single month are labeled as mad lads a god amongst men. Well, Mad Lad is true. It's just not that kind of mad. He just not angry. Nah, people do this like crazy. Like, they donate tons of money. I mean, like, I, I don't really have a problem. It depends on, like, if somebody's financially stable, right? I mean, like, if it's somebody who's got a bunch of fucking money, who cares? Uh, I think it's only something bad 
Like, for example, I think it's worse for certain people to donate $100 than it is for other people to donate 1000 You see what I'm saying? Like, it, it's contextualized around that person's own financial situation. Financially stable people can throw their money around a fucking wall. Yeah, they do whatever the fuck they want. Half of the fan base look at I know a guy that'll uh, eat ramen for a week just to send super chats to a girl. Yeah, well, he's a loser. Yep. That's... <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. Ironically... But the Maybe other half ramen. do so unironically. Somehow, the simping culture has distorted our perception of such herbivore behavior. Oh Somehow, yeah. The simping culture has. That made dude made like ten grand right there. Like, watch this shit. Ironically, but the watch other these half numbers. do so unironically. Somehow, the simping Look culture has distorted God our damn. perception of such herbivore behavior. Somehow, that's the crazy. Simping culture has made this the norm of the industry. And, and yeah, that's I a guy too. Yeah, true. That's probably, boo. there's probably people in this fucking, uh, in, in this stream that like in that time, like if you put all that money there, that's more than they made in like the last six months or a year. I agree that this culture is part of what makes the VTuber community unique. It doesn't make it any less weird when you actually look at oh, it from really the outside and look at it without rose tinted glasses. But again, this culture is what makes the industry special. For better or worse, it is also part of the magic of VTubing. In yeah. fact, this culture is why the VTuber boom happened in the first place. I don't think that simping is why VTubers are popular. I don't know about that. Like, I, I'm going I'm to be like, no on that. That's a no. It, it's just a factor. And why Hololife became the most popular global VTuber agency. Because the thing about industries is that the top dogs will always be the trendsetters. Oh, yeah. What they do is what most people follow in order to get a That's similar right. result. Hololife's idol niche became the meta for the industry oh, when wow. the VTuber boom happened. And as a result, idols and VTubers have become intertwined, yeah. permeating to every corner of the VTuber industry. Idols have something of a problem with parasocialism already, so it's only natural that it was going to be- Well, like, they don't have, like, in Korea, the, like, uh, K-pop stars, don't- they don't in relationships publicly, because that makes it to where the viewers can't imagine themselves in a relationship with that person. And you know what else has that? Final Fantasy XIV. It's worse. The toxic side of the idol culture, which is the whole not talking to males thing among others, yeah. spread out across the VTuber industry. It's not that any agency, including Hololive, is forcing their VTubers to follow this toxic part of the culture and be parasocial, because it's mostly perpetuated both by the viewers and the individual VTuber. Mm -hmm. And while this industry has been doing well to shed off toxic parts of the idol culture, like the whole not allowed to talk to males thing, heavy parasocialism is still the lifeblood of the community. And it's where the VTuber industry is still going. One thing that I've observed too is that the parasocial aspect of VTubing is worse for the eastern side of the industry than the western side. No, I can't the say. Japanese, the Chinese, or really Asians in general are more prone to fall into the deep end of parasocial relationships. And as a result, they're the most loyal and profitable, but also the most volatile. Is There's that true? I mean, I have no fucking idea. A fine line between dangerous and healthy parasocialism. In yeah, fact, that's pretty much the point of this video, to find that line, oh, to man. find that balance, both as a viewer or a streamer. Healthy parasocialism are healthy VTuber and fan relationships, when a VTuber knows that their chat are just their fans and not their friends. Appreciating them? Well, let's read some, any weird shit in the chat? Your voice is beautiful, wow. That's not too bad. Still keeping a distance, when viewers know that the VTubers are just the doing fuck? their job still buying into their kayfabe and having fun but maintaining That's a healthy clever. separation. But dangerous parasocialism is dependency or codependency between VTuber and fan. Yep. When the lines blur both for the chat and streamer, and they feel the need to see each other to complete their day. When the viewers start seeing the VTuber as their waifu therapist, a romantic or their friend. 
healthy parasocialism is and that's the same with streamers by the way some streamer go on their fucking alt chat start acting like it's a therapy session with dr k cut that shit the fuck out oh my god i hate to see it isn't that the magic of vtubers exists and it's one of the elements that make vtube not unique. good enjoying your oshis as cute anime girls doing cute anime things is one of the most unique experiences of online entertainment thank god but for the internet socialism is bro he gotta fix this jacket man like what are you doing you gotta fix this fucking jacket like come on bro of the vtuber community as it can ruin entire fan bases vtubers and further damages the reputation of the industry the moment you buy into the illusion too much and forget that these VTubers are just normal human beings doing their job as entertainers is the moment you start to slip on the edge. The moment you stop being a fan and start seeing yourself as their friend or lover. Would you be happy if your fans se fell seriously in love with you? Hmm. <laughs> is the moment you need to think Of course, it's nice for me to be liked by someone. Oh no. Step back. All of us are parasocial towards someone or something in various degrees. Pico? I don't but know what that is. Substituting parasocial relationships for actual I want real her to relationships. Be my girlfriend. Realize that you're falling on the deep end. Yeah. The parasocial problem only becomes a problem when you let it become a problem. Yeah, I think that's true. Hey everyone, thanks for watching There's a lot video. of uh, leave a like and comment normal below enjoyers. If something, or if you have something to add. And if you'd like to engage in a parasocial relationship with me, joining my membership or Patreon will be the best way to do so. Anyway, that's it. See ya. All right, I think that was a pretty good video. I didn't know what to expect out of it. But I think, again, like, I mean, you got... I'll, I'll give this guy liking this up. I'll, uh, I'll, link you, uh, I'll link you guys a video, man. Yeah. Uh, it was decent. Normal enjoyer. Yeah, exactly. Manga artists in Japan got death threats before revealing their characters were in relationships in the past. Yeah, I mean, people can be fucking weird, man. Like, uh, watch his drama. I don't know what his fucking drama is. Like, I can't be worried about everybody's fucking drama. Well, actually, I can. But, uh, not necessarily either one. Uh, no, he's the worst. This creator of Docs VTubers. I mean, I don't, bro, I just watched a video, man. I don't know what the fuck. Like, I'm just saying that I, I do think it makes sense that people would get more attracted to VTubers or more attached to them. Because, again, the people that are going and seeking out an anime girl to talk to them. Like, there's a lot of people that just think that it's funny or, like, quirky. And it's not a big deal. I think that's what the majority is. But, like, I mean, think about you go from 1% to 2%, that's twice as many. And, and I think that's about what happens with VTubers, you know? That's it. So, uh, how many of them you think are AIs? Um, probably a few. I mean, like, at least the Neurosama, but besides that, not a lot. Let me see here. I I'll look at this. Do you think it's okay? Are you oh, sorry. Uh, I'll read that after this. Are you going to OTK Game Day? Yes, I'm going to be the announcer for OTK Game Day. It's happening this Friday on Nick's channel. I think it's like one or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I will be doing that. Uh, somebody says, do you think it's morally okay to play Atomic Heart even though buying it means giving some money to Russia's government? Uh, yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, I mean, somebody bitches cries about that. I just stop listening to what they're saying. So, like, if somebody starts trying to talk to me like that, I just stop reading what they're typing at me. Yeah. Like, I don't see a world where, like, bro, Ukraine is on the edge. You buy this game, it's over. Come on. Snap back to reality. I